All right, guys, welcome back. We got week three of the Terror Twister side quest. Of course, you got to go in and claim your from the grand opening objectives. You grab your tickets, check your Mysterium. As always, you do not want to go over and you want to make sure that when you complete a path or an objective that you don't go over your Mysterium. You always want to check. And if you're close to 50K, spend some, get some rewards, and then go back in. Uh, we're going to go in threat level 5. This was my first run through it, so I'll show you what I should have done better. Uh, I always go for the shards and then some uh, some tier 6 class catalyst at the end. Nothing too crazy on the first couple fights. The only thing to note uh, before I put the music on and let you go through these is there is one um, node that... Um, you need to do put damaging debuffs on, or just any debuffs. It doesn't have to be damaging debuffs. Any debuffs in order to do damage, and then that also is going to apply on the boss. And I didn't really do such a great job there. I brought someone in that is going to do some uh, some debuffs on the boss, but really nothing too crazy this week at all. Just make sure you, if you don't have anyone who puts any debuffs on, then there are going to be a couple fights that are going to be uh, a little annoying, similar to uh, you know last week where there was one node uh, as well that had a specific requirement. So here, you got to be able to have a couple debuffs, not this fight in particular, but there is one later on that you're going to need debuffs, and we'll do it on the boss as well. Uh, so I am going to fast forward these fights. They are not too bad at all, and then we'll see you at the Rhino Boss.
All right, guys, as you saw, there's also Hyperion that can be on the path. So obviously you want a counter for him as well. And then for the boss here, there's really nothing too bad, but whistle down, you wanna make sure that you have debuffs on. Then there's gonna be all the nodes that you took on the way through, backup recovery. He's gonna get a regen unless you hit him with a heavy will reduce it. But I decided to go in with Angela here and I play pretty aggressive against, um, I try to play very aggressive against Rhino so that he that I, uh, just go close to him and parry his initial like light attack instead of letting him dash in that is my goal here you also have to rotate specials here on this last one so uh you don't want to be throwing uh the same special over and over again so i'm going to build up to a special two and uh you can see here there if he gets uh if you throw a heavy you remove that regen on him and i'm also going to be putting enough uh, a bunch of debuffs on with my specials so there we go, mitigates the healing, uh, some of the healing as well. And there we go. Nothing too crazy here on this one, to be honest. You've got five champions. If he does get annoying with the uh, unblockable, uh, you can't, I don't think you also, you can't really bring in any skill champions for this quest. You are limited in which champions you're allowed to bring in based on uh, each week in the Terror Twister quest. So, you know, bring in your top champs and you'll be just fine there. I get clipped by uh, an un unblockable, but it's not too bad here. Again, I rotate again in between my specials and we're gonna get this Rhino down, no problem. So hopefully that helps you out for this week. Um, nothing too exciting. I think it's the same other minor objective where you can go into a, a Road to the Labyrinth chapter one and take in like Spider-Man classic against that uh, vision and you can get that objective as well really easily. So nothing too crazy for week three. See you next week guys, bye-bye.